Hello everyone. Today in this video, we'll be discussing the last module of SCM, in which uh, we'll be discussing what are the co type of questions that could be asked from this module. So, if there are any numericals, I'll not be discussing any numerical because it's not my elective. I don't know about the numerical part. What I'll be discussing rather is the theory concepts, what you can score marks in, and what are the key points you need to keep in mind. How do you write an answer? What are the first point, second point, third point? Where you need to make the diagram? Which diagram are important? What are the formulas that I'll be discussing now? Okay. So before starting, if you like this video, hit the like button and show your support to me by subscribing to the channel. Your support helps me make more videos like this. Okay. So let's get started. All the PDF, what I'm, uh, whatever I am referring, that can be found in the uh, description box. Okay. Uh, the link is there. Okay. So I'll be opening the notes. So module five notes can be found in the 18ME 653 folder. So this is the module five notes. And the first question is, so there are totally seven questions. Okay. The first question is explain the various supply chain integration. Explain the various supply chain integration. There are four types of uh, supply chain integration. The uh, in the supply chain integration, you will be integrating uh, many concepts like um, what are the different uh, factors that uh, affect the supply chain. By integrating those factors, you will be making the supply chain more efficient. That is what is called the supply chain integration. Okay, so that's what we'll be discussing. Let's have a look at that. It's present in uh, page number seven. There are uh, totally uh, four types of uh, integrations. Okay, so let's see what are those uh, four types. So, current and supply chain integration, you need to know what is supply chain integration, the few, few key points are given here. The first one is the enterprise integration, enterprise is the whole market, application is the what is the specific application, that integration, business process and uh, integration, the process of the business will be integrating and data and information integration, the information uh, means data and information will be including and storing that in some place. These are the four types you have to explain with the key points. Okay. Then we have the next one, what are the four levels of integration? The four levels of integration are given uh, here, the stage one is the baseline, stage two is the functional integration. Stage, is, stage 3 is the internal integration and stage 4 is the external integration. Make sure you practice this diagram and mention this in your answer script. Okay. So each of these information is given what is baseline, what is functional integration, what is inter internal supply chain integration, what is external integration. Next one is the what is the uh, ball whip effect, bull whip effect. Okay. So bull whip effect, there is uh, uh, some concept, I am not sure what the concept is but this is uh, looking like important because it is uh, um, huge topic in this module and it has weightage also right because the key points are present here so this is the first thing what you'll write what is bull uh, whip effect uh, make sure you go through google or some other videos or other, other notes uh, get to know about this concept it's uh, an important concept and the key points are present here you can grow through this one also what is the innovation process trust and collaboration and uh, what it does the relationship between knowledge uh, management uh, learning and training and the bullwhip effect is shown here so the relationship is shown here there are some steps in which you can uh, do the joint supply chain management imp improvement project so make sure you whatever you can go through it the information you can gain gain it and uh, present it in an organized manner in your answer script that will help you fetch uh, much much more marks than you actually used to score in exams fine so this is the bullwhip effect you can go through it uh, more information is present here and uh, graphs are also given right so you can go uh, through those things the next one is the effective forecasting what makes a forecasting more effective three key points are there pass information over the variable and uh, the information can be uh, quantified it is assumed that patterns will be continuing into the future so these are the three points and what is the nature of forecasting you have four, uh, four points are the logistics marketing production and finance and information for uh, effective forecast what are the information you require so these are the key points you'll be uh, writing in your answer script you know, in a stepwise manner one by one after the other in an organized way fine and what is the basic approach for the demand forecasting if they ask explicitly you have to mention this one okay means what are the six step approaches it's looking important so make sure you go through this one because mostly they ask the questions uh, like this only like what are the six uh, step approach what is the main diagram in that what is that effect what is uh, this law and all so make sure you go through all these and if there is any diagram make sure you make the diagram in the script as well okay next we have the uh, explain uh, briefly explain supply chain restructuring okay so these are the, just the key points you can go through directly to this one supply chain restructuring what does supply chain restructuring mean that's the first uh, point uh, you have to write here's the definition as you can see significant change in supply chain uh, structure and what are the um, changes which were considered okay this also is the second point and this is a diagram if you can remember this diagram you can make this diagram as well so that is about the um, supply chain restructuring you have the key challenges and considerations if they ask explicitly like a sub question to mention this as well okay then supply chain matching uh, mapping what is supply chain mapping and what are the uh, strategic um, supply chain map should consist with the key characteristics that's given here and it's important because of several reasons that is given here three key points are there the definition part the um, characteristics part and 
the several important reason why supply chain manager should consider uh, have a strategic supply chain map okay and after that we have the supply chain process restructuring uh, so this topic is uh, again asked but uh, the previous one was supply chain restructuring here it is supply chain process uh, restructuring okay so based on that some information is given you can go through it just a slight information is there just uh, three or four lines then we have it in uh, supply chain what is the um, contribution of information technology in it chain uh, supply chain management so that you can uh, see here transaction processing supply chain planning and the order and uh, tracking in the delivery coordination the sub points are given here for the drivers using it in uh, cm so these are the key points which you need to mention like it you can mention your own words also when you do some transaction when the um, product gets delivered from the amazon uh, warehouses to your uh, home in between them it uh, goes through many uh, steps right so what are those uh, technology how it uh, gives you help the track of it and it helps you know where the uh, item is and what is the item about those things you will get to know right that's how because of technology right that only you have to explain your own words okay then we have uh, agile uh, in supply chain agile supply chain what does ag agility mean it means the continuous changing so those things you need to uh, know so you can go to it uh, regarding what is the agile supply chain then you have the reverse supply chain what is reverse supply chain here is the diagram also given you can go through it next we have the future of it in supply chain okay what is the future of it in supply chain automatic identification electronic data get some key points explain each of these examples with the means application part of each of these right so you can uh, do that one and e supply in uh, e business in supply chain the last topic from the module 5 so that's all what is there in the module 5 and this will take hardly around half an hour for you to complete module 5 just note down the key points take a paper and pen it will be helpful for you and if you have any doubt uh, you can ping me on instagram my id is uh, underscore afuu and uh, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel your support helps me make more videos like this and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one